Welcome to the Impact with AI SDG series. I'm your host, Brandon Andrews. I'm excited to engage with another entrepreneur impacting the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals with artificial intelligence. Today, I'm joined by Food Waste Suite founder and CEO, Faith Alorantaba. Faith is from Nigeria. That's where she grew up, but she's currently building her business in Toronto, Canada. Faith, let's get directly into the conversation. Tell us about Food Waste Suite and the impact you want to have. Thank you. Um, I'm first, uh, Brandon, I'm really happy to be on the show. Um, so Food Waste Suite is uh, an AI enabled group buying online platform that, you know, facilitates and automates the process where buyers connect with each other, buy groceries and other items in bulk together, split the cost and save. And so the main goal is to bring, you know, a community of people um, so that they can save money by buying in bulk together and they can enjoy the benefits of wholesale shopping without worrying about, you know, space limitations or food waste. And, you know, the main impact that we're trying to uh, um, have is to try to solve the, you know, the challenge of high cost of groceries, food insecurity and food waste. Uh, um, Lately, you know, in North America, in Canada, in the U.S., groceries, the cost of groceries is really high. Um, and so many people have resorted to trying to bypass, you know, retailers and going directly to suppliers. But the challenge is suppliers usually sell in bulk. That's the best way to, you know, get the price advantage. Um, so in order to circumvent that, you know, some people buy in bulk and, you know, that bulk purchase tend to waste. And so that's where Food Waste Suites tries to help, you know, to help people assess bulk produce. But, you know, rather than the food going to waste, we share it together and that way, you know, people get to save. And it's AI part because, you know, people have been group buying for a very long time. Uh, um, some even fr come from cultures. I come from a culture of group buying, uh, but it's usually manual. So what Food Waste Suite is trying to do is to automate it with technology. Tell us about your culture of group buying. Where did you grow up? Where did you learn this? Thank you. So uh, originally I'm Nigerian. And, um, you know, I come, you know, so Nigeria is a, is a part of West Africa, is a country in West Africa. And in many parts of Africa, we usually do communal buying, communal saving. Um, it's called different names in different region. In West Africa, you know, it's called Ajo. In certain parts of Africa, it's called Susu. You know, there is also this concept of Ubuntu where people come together, you know, to try to pull resources and unearth. Um, um, and so, you know, that's the culture. I come from, and when we immigrate, for instance, I, you know, I, I, I've immigrated to certain countries and currently I'm in Canada. And so when we immigrate, we carry those elements of culture here. For instance, here, we have a lot of diaspora and Africans that buy meat together, they buy groceries together, and that way, you know, they're able to save, but then the challenge is in the logistics, right? You know, dropping the bulk item in, in someone's house, trying to coordinate people coming to pick it up. It's, it can be very stressful. So I've been group buying here in Canada for about four years. Yes, it has saved me a lot about you know over 70 percent of my groceries and so last december i thought about it and i'm like there has to be a way to automate this process where i don't have to know the other person to be able to group by if there's a platform that can just automate it then that would be beautiful and that was what brought about the idea of um food waste suite as a you know tech bridging the you know gap in retail tech that makes a lot of sense now let's talk about the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. How are you impacting the SDGs? Thank you. So, you know, there are, there are several SDGs that, you know, we, that, you know, Food Waste Suite sits at the intersection of. The first is, you know, one of the SDGs, Zero Hunger. Um, food Waste Suite wants customers to buy food at lower prices by purchasing in bulk. And so that way we can reduce hunger and improve food security. Um, by doing that, you know, as an employer of labor, you know, we also meet the, you know, uh, goal eight of, you know, decent work and economic growth, uh, you know, so by creating jobs in technology in logistics in customer service, we meet that goal. Um, another uh, as important SDG goal to us is um, responsible consumption and production. So by promoting bulk buying and sharing, you know, we're able to reduce, uh, uh, well, I mean, we're able to encourage more sustainable consumption patterns. We're able to, you know, reduce food waste. We're also able to encourage organic consumption because what we're trying to do or, or what Food Waste Suite is currently doing is building a very robust, you know, partnership with 
farmers, you know, organic suppliers so that people can have more access to um, organic food. Um, and, you know, in doing that, uh, uh, we also uh, uh, meet the goal of, you know, climate action, right? You know, that's another SDG goal. Um, we're trying to also make our logistics as efficient as possible and also using local sources and suppliers. So that way we're able to reduce carbon footprint of, you know, the food distribution network. And I would say finally, you know, one SDG goal that we're trying to also meet is partnership, right? So, um, partnership for the goals. So what we're, you know, as I mentioned earlier, we're building a network of local farmers, you know, producers, suppliers. Right now I have about 25 that we're currently working with. And, you know, that way, you know, there's partnership. And then we also have like some group leaders among the customers, right? Who, you know, can also help, you know, who are influencers within their network. And so, you know, when they get the groceries, they also have networks like, you know, in certain parts of the immigrant communities here in Canada, you have three, four, five families living in a very big family house, you know, so that also helps, you know, stretch that partnership and it contributes to, you know, sustainable um, consumption and sustainable partnership. So those are some of the um, goals we are meeting. And then also because we are a tech platform, one important goal we're also meeting is industry innovation and infrastructure. Um, the retail and the, you know, um, the retail industry in Canada, or even, you know, generally, the, like the grocery, uh, you know, uh, industry is not exactly one of the most forward industries with tech. So we are trying to, you know, leverage the digital technology in order to innovate the way our customers purchase food and the way they consume food. And that way it's, it improves the industry practices. Yeah, all the SDGs complement one another and your business is a great example of that. I especially love that you are impacting SDG 8, uh, being, able, being able to create decent work by working with the farmers as well as the folks in the logistics supply chain uh, for the group buying platform. Now, I would love to hear how are you using artificial intelligence to drive impact? So we're, we're actually trying to, so, you know, so the, the impact of AI for food waste suites is more back end. You know, we're using certain, you know, AI powered uh, group matching algorithms, uh, you know, to try to automate the the way, you know, customers contribute to a group cut. So, you know, on, on the front end customers, when customers buy, you know, and they pay, they are contributing the, to a group cut. They can see there's a group discount. They can see the group price. They can see how much of their share. Uh, but back end, you know, we're using certain uh, uh, um, tools and mechanisms. We, but, you know, we're trying to set ourselves apart using those group matching algorithms. Um, you know, to be able to enhance the group buying feature. And that way, you know, front end is very easy for customers to see that they are contributing into a group. And back end is also very easy for administrators and for, you know, the fulfillers to just, you know, understand each a group, what products they are trying to fulfill, um, the, you know, the delivery and the logistics, and then send it off to our offline uh, uh, suppliers and, you know, the, the delivery partners. So that's exactly, you know, how we're trying to do it. As I said, you know, Currently, it's manual. If you want to group by, you you know, you set up um, a WhatsApp group, you add people, you send out the questionnaire, you send out the poll. Each step of that process is, is manual. So Food Waste Suite is trying to use AI to actually automate it. So I think this business is a great example of artificial intelligence bringing efficiencies and automation to a manual process. And congrats to you on developing these algorithms and best of luck with the patent application. Now, it's time to answer the big question, Faith. Can AI rescue the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals? What do you think? Yes, I, I'm, I'm a true believer in, you know, in the power of technology and how it has helped us, you know, over centuries, over decades, and even now. I think that, you know, AI can help in a lot of ways in the different goals. Uh, uh, um, we should think of AI more as a partner, you know, more as, um, um, more, more as, you know, as you said, you know, automating and improving efficiencies, right? When people, for, 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 for instance, Food Waste Suite knows that our true value is not AI, but it's in using AI to give value to the customers. Our customers, what makes them feel comfortable with the value that they've paid for is getting the food. How they get it might not be as important to the fact that they have gotten the food. And so that's where I see AI helping, you know, trying to just 
automate and you know fa facilitate proce processes that we have always used to the point that you don't even know it's AI that is working, but it's but it's actually AI working, right? So um, in the area of you know zero hunger, you know we we we've so there's this very popular restaurant, you know, not trying to derail, but there's this very popular restaurant in a spa, you know, within the greater Toronto area that uses robots to serve, you know, uh, um, uh, people, right? Uh, um, and that's something that might become popular over time, right? Because if if a robot serves you your food, you know, because of the speed and the efficiency, it's incre you know, it increases like the serving time, um, you know, so things like that can actually, you know, improve the quality of our lives right think of you know climate right you know uh, 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 climate change cleaning up the oceans things like that you know these machines are, are there to support us they are there to complement us because there is only i mean you're you're a very experienced entrepreneur and you know that there is only so much that you know the human brain can ha handle alone we we cannot always do everything and so that's why there are these machines there are this you know that there's this technology to just help us you know make life better so yeah so in many of the goals you know climate action you know even even um even employment right i mean nowadays people use chat gpt people use you know um there are certain linkedin um ai algorithms can that can even help you generate your resume so that you can apply for a job faster you know so that you can screen uh, um applicants faster so this is the value that AI is giving that we are not necessarily seeing AI. But the thing is that when people think of AI, they think of like those destructive machines that will come and take over, you know, our world. They think of, um, you know, AI stealing away our jobs, but not, not necessarily. AI can provide value um, even when we don't see it working. It's actually working. So, yes, I'm on the, you know, I'm on the for AI um, side. <laughs> Um, line of the spectrum um, and I think it has so much value if we're able to harness it responsibly one thing I would also say is you know I'm also for you know AI like you know regulation and uh, um, you know like like the, the regulatory side of it and I think that governments nowadays are also now being smart compared to when social media came out that they that they joined late to the party so if we can harness AI you know, efficiently while making sure that the, you know, the regulatory side is also matching the rate of development, then we would have a more, you know, a safer world, a cleaner world, um, a more productive world, you know, a happier world. That's what I think anyway. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Creating responsible AI is incredibly important. We all know that AI has incredible potential we want to harness that potential for good, but also make sure that we're doing it in a responsible way. So thanks so much, Faith, for joining us today for our Impact with AI SDG series conversation. Faith, how can people contact you or support Food Waste Suite? So you can support Food Waste Suite by signing up on www.foodwastesuite.com. Um, we are revamping our services, so we're launching you know, uh, a new platform very soon. So just sign up. Uh, you can also, you know, connect with me on LinkedIn, Faith or Lauren Toba, just type Faith or Lauren Toba. You can follow me. You can also fo fo follow Food Waste Suite uh, page. Um, and yeah, you can send me direct messages, you know, if there are opportunities, if you have feedback while you're using it, uh, while you're using Food Waste Suite platform, you know, you can let us know, let the team know, um, you know, the website will have, you know, our contact information. And I'm happy to hear, you know, feedback, you know, anyone who has resources, access to more funding, you know, because we're still a startup. So, <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's, that's how you can support us. Great. Well, thank you so much again, Faith. Love what you're building and wishing you and your team the best of luck as you're driving impact with AI.